ask me what I mean by saying I have lost my tongue. I ask you, what would you do if you had two tongues in your mouth and lost the first one, the mother tongue, and couldn't really know the other, the foreign tongue? You couldn't use them both together, even if you thought that way. And if you lived in a place where you had to use the foreign tongue, your, mo your mother tongue would rot, rot and die in your mouth until you had to spit it out. I thought I spit it out, but overnight, while I dream, Mane hatuke, aki jib, aki basha, metu kinakiche, parantu ratre swapnama, maribasha, pachiaviche, fuli gem, maribasha, marijib, modama kindiche, fuli gem, maribasha, marijib, modama pakiche, it grows back a stump of a shoot grows longer, grows moist, grows strong veins. It ties the other tongue in knots. The bud opens. The bud opens in my mouth. It pushes the other tongue aside. Every time I think I have forgotten, I think I have lost the mother tongue. It blossoms out of my mouth. Здравствуйте. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. Sujata Bhatt's powerful poem inspired me to explore the connection between language, identity, community, and culture. I asked myself, what if I were in her place? And what if I forgot how to speak Russian. It seemed like a crazy possibility because Russian is my mother tongue. How can I forget it? But then it occurred to me, what if I didn't study it in a school environment like I do now? Because that is what happened with my native language, Uzbek. I studied in Russian school and I wasn't exposed to it daily so I didn't understand why it was important to learn it. Obviously, I thought that learning the global language, English, would be much more beneficial for me because it is the language of the latest information and wide opportunities. I thought so for a long time until I came across the map of endangered languages and learned that out of 7,000 languages existing at the moment, it is estimated by linguists that 3,000 will die within the next century. Just have a look at this map where yellow dots show the endangered languages and the red the severely endangered languages. The number of endangered languages clearly exceeds the number of endangered animal species. But why don't we treat the issue of language extinction with exactly the same passion and energy with which the issue of animal extinction is treated? On the other hand, do we really need all those other languages? After all, one fourth of the world's population is able to speak English, and the number of people learning it grows every day. So maybe speaking English is enough to be able to communicate and understand each other. Imagine there would be transparency, equality, and no communication issues. The language would unite all of us and the humanity may finally be able to reach its eternal goal, peace. So would we actually lose anything if 
all those other languages die, would you be scared if your mother tongue was one of these dots on the map? I asked myself suddenly, what if Russian and Uzbek were on this map? And then it just struck me how much these languages mean to me. These languages live in my heart, connecting me with my parents, grandparents, community, values, traditions, culture, literature, and my whole history. Because I think that language is not just about communication. It is about sharing a part of your soul. And you can understand it by reading an author in original language and in translation. Something is always lost in the process of translation. It is the unspoken, the feelings, the emotions, some magic. If Russian, and Uzbek died, there would be no more Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky or Alisher Navai. And then there would be no more Zdrastvite, which I immediately associate with a girl in Kokoshnik welcoming me with kravai and salt. And then there would be no more Hush Tulipsis, which I immediately associated with Karnai Sernai music, dancing people in Tibetakas, and the smell of bread, Lipyoshka. There wouldn't be any of this anymore if my mother tongues die. Just have a look at the map again and imagine how each dot is more than just a language. It is unique culture, values, and traditions that are at risk. Would we just watch them disappear? What are we aiming for? Uniformity or diversity? Because wasn't it Aldous Huxley who suggested that uniformity is a warning sign of a dystopian world? I answered my own questions by turning to my grandparents for help in improving my proficiency in Uzbek. I strongly feel that languages can be compared to a museum. Would you rather come to a museum and see only one painting, only one artist's view of the world? Or would you rather try to see as many paintings as possible, expose yourself to all the different colors and unique views. So let us all unite in celebration of the beauty of our linguistic diversity. I strongly believe that all the languages are equally important and that through preserving our mother tongues and learning foreign tongues, we can contribute to peace building. Let me ask you to join me and say peace in your mother tongue. Mir Tinchlik. Thank you so much. Спасибо.